In a Windows Update document published on the 20th of December, Microsoft announced they intend to drop their VR platform Windows Mixed Reality and will be removed in future versions of the Windows platform. Welcome to a SimHanger Quick Byte, a small snippet of news I think you may be interested in. The announcement was tucked away in a Windows 11 document, I'll leave links in the notes below, and says their VR platform for Windows, Windows Mixed Reality, is now depreciated. What does that mean? Well, it means no further development, and it will be removed from future versions of the Windows platform. This will also include the application Windows Mixed Reality for SteamVR that gave access to games and applications on the Steam platform for those using Windows Mixed Reality headsets, such as the Reverb G2. Windows Mixed Reality was Microsoft's OpenXR implementation for virtual reality headsets. At its launch in and around 2017, there were quite a number of headsets that adopted this platform, but over a period of time, they've slowly slipped away, with VR headset manufacturers opting for the Steam platform, or alternatively, they've developed their own implementation of the open XR environment, such as the Pimax Crystal, etc. In terms of the current generation of VR headsets, the HP Reverb G2 is perhaps the most popular and still uses the Windows Mixed Reality environment and especially popular with those with an interest in the simulation genre such as flight simulation. And with regards to the Reverb G2, well, there's been speculation and rumours around for well over a year now that HP will discontinue the Reverb G2 and perhaps now we know why, and I would expect an announcement from HP in the not-too-distant future. And perhaps brings more understanding why Matt, the developer of the OpenXR Development Toolkit, depreciated that program as well. Microsoft's commitment to virtual reality remains questionable in my personal opinion. And from what I understand, even the HoloLens 3 has been cancelled. They've announced on a number of occasions with relation to the Xbox... There are no plans to take a lead from Sony and the PS5 and introduce virtual reality to the Xbox in the short or medium term. In fact, they've steadfastly said they're not going to do that. This leads us on to the inevitable question, if you've got an HP Reverb G2, where do you stand? It's clear to me we can't expect any updates, enhancements, etc. for Windows Mixed Reality. And in my personal opinion, compatibility with SteamVR via the application Windows Mixed Reality for SteamVR will slowly and gradually slip away as Steam updates. And even if it is removed from the Windows platform, it's likely to still be available via the Windows Store for some considerable time to come as an add-in application. So I don't feel there's a need for immediate panic if you have the HP Reverb G2. Having said that, however, the writing's on the wall. With Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 coming up next year, should we be worried? Well, the current version's portal into VR is OpenXR. So providing your headset has an OpenXR runtime, you shouldn't have a problem. And at this stage, we can only assume it'll be fully compatible with SteamVR as well. But time will tell. Overall, as a VR enthusiast, this is not great news. What's your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you as always for joining me. Stay well, look after yourself. See you again soon and bye for now.